Hey guys and welcome back to another video. This one is definitely different. This is the same place as the last video. However, it is a completely different sport. Last week was hockey, which is usually what does take place in the PPL Center. And now this week, it is indoor racing, specifically TQ Midgets, uh, along with slingshot cars. And basically they took off the ice. Well, actually, I guess the ice is still there. It's they put a floor over it, and uh, they took away some seating. They folded up some seating, made a little bit more room, and basically made a small short track out of it. Um, this is a series that has four different events throughout the Northeast. First was Trenton in December. This is the second event. Third event is at the end of January in, in Atlantic City. Fourth one is in February in Albany. So it's a uh, it's a short um, series. Um, they had actually Marco Andretti at the very beginning take a couple laps in a midget car, which was uh, obviously no one was expecting him to be there. And also uh, Ryan Priest, who is in the Xfinity series and won the Modified series back in 2013, uh, is also, I guess, a technically a part timer in this series, although he's only a part timer because. He's running three out of the four races, which I don't know for sure which races those are, but if I had speculation, I would say that he's probably not running the Albany race, considering that that's around the same time they have to be getting ready for Daytona. Um, but yeah, that is, uh, it, it was kind of cool. I uh, had some names you didn't expect to be in there, and of course, a lot of them were just local guys you really haven't heard of. Um, although I've seen nothing wrong with that. It was still great racing as you will see. Um, but yeah, hopefully I haven't looked at the box scores yet. Um, or if there is anything to look at, I hope that I find, you know, finishing results and, you know, actual stats like that. So this video isn't too confusing, but, uh, yeah, there's a lot of heats. Um, and then the C, C main, B main, A main, all that. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to stop talking now, and I will see you all later. I really have no idea what to expect, but, uh, you know, just going to have some fun, try to keep Kyle's car off the wall, and uh, tomorrow, yeah, I'm in Florida in the morning in a shifter car, and then uh, on Wednesday, uh, I'm in the Indy car down there. So. Hey, running the Indy car, I see you bring for a test. Have you tested the new bodywork yet, or is this the first time? First time, looking forward to it. Well, what have you heard from anybody else who's been in the car, not your car, but the cars with the new body works? What sort of feedback have you gotten on it? Well, they're my competitors, so not much, as you can imagine, so uh, we'll go figure out for ourselves. What do you think it's going to do to the IndyCar series this year? Engines in these cars, and uh, most of them have the engines hanging off the left side, very similar to it. I want to make sure that uh, all of the pitches are up to temperature. I'm sorry. First lap in the worst in TQ Midget, Verizon IndyCar Series competitor Marco Andretti. Go figuring out the shift there. So with that, let's remember who we are, what we are, where we are, with our invocation and our national anthem. Let us pray. Lord, we are so glad that you have brought us here today. We know you've had some racing already yesterday. You've been with us. You've been around us. You've given us a safe journey so far. All through the season, no matter what track we've been at, you have always been there. You've been a faithful, loving God, and we need you to be with us again tonight. Give us the guidance. Give us the love that we need to get through this night, to have another successful racing night. Let you and your son go around to the different drivers, all the infield crew, the photographers, everybody, and put your arms around them. Give us the same journey that we need. We give this night 
to you and your son. Amen. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the So gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner. Sticky stuff presented by our friends at Pocono Raceway and again Action Track USA racing, uh, presenting our slingshot racing here tonight. Speaking of which, we're using the slingshot to try to air out some t-shirts here in the crowd as we get the drivers bundled in. If you were here taking a picture with that show car, one of the crew members fired it up, drove it around the block, out on the street here at Allentown to bring it out for a backup car. It's back to his primary car, Chad Jones, back to the number 28 car. Let's see what he can do as he races his way forward. Here we go! Field is set in the tournament for Allentown.
Right. Who's flailing around in the car? Coca-Cola guy. If you don't tell me, now let me get out of here. Setting that car down gingerly now, Mr. Crew.
upside down as well. Out of our vantage point, that might be the McVetta car, the number uh, 95, that got upside down, so that brings out the red. They said McVetta's car back down on its wheels. Uh, fixing to do a little bit of work here to try to uh, get that car back out there. So the McVetta car makes a nasty tumble here, but he's uh, taking it back to the pit area. We'll see if he can get a refire back up. Guys, it could be the benefactors of anybody up front mixes it up a little bit too hard.
Chiefs. So, great luck to fill the cars. Chris Curtis. Uh, Chris Curtis is the point leader of the race. Good luck, Sir Thank you. 
Brandon, reach down there, grab yourself a shirt. See what you got. Third row's gone, so you'll be all right. You'll be in the top two rows. Again, this is setting the field, the six-star field, for the five-lap dash. Five-lap dash and see what Brandon gets. Three! Gets a number three, does Brandon has a lead-up. Gets a number three. All right, who do we have next? Scott Kruder. Scott Kruder. Kruder gets a shirt. It's like Christmas morning down here trying to unpack these things. I don't know whoever did it, did a good job. Kruder gets a four! Four! So the front row is available. The front row, Sean Nye. Uh, Sean goes first. You want, yeah. Oh no, they're arguing about who had their hands on what now. <laughs> Sean Nye, we'll see if it was a, it was one of those hoodoo voodoo things. So Sean Nye. And we got Tommy Cantalano, the other driver, we'll see. Sean Nye drew two. Oh, he hoodooed him. Tommy Cantalano. Good, good. Well, let's make it official. Let's make sure. Make sure that we didn't. Uh, last night, I, last night I had policy. Yeah, there might have been a seven in there. That just to, just to jack around a little bit with it. That's how we do things around here. And Tommy Cantalano gets a number one. How about that? Here we go again. Hey, you're drawing really well here now. Uh, our sponsor. Hey, I want to mention, you know, I was talking to my, uh, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit. 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 As they went their way back down, the 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 the
Salina finishes second. Scott Carter is third. Fourth is Bobby Holmes. Now, interesting, Justin Bonsignor. He had a chance there to go to the inside and maybe take the fourth spot. So now we've got the four-wheeler down there as a brace. Yeah, we use our four-wheelers for brace. The forklift is going to come in. A big head. Oh my gosh! One head! One head! One head! He put it out of the ballpark! Oh my gosh! That was masterful! Look at him go! Get my hand over the backstretch! Big head saved the day! He saved the day! Oh ho oh, oh. ho! Smaller race cars, we got a couple of them here down in turn number four as well. 
we had a bunch of tires get run over down here in turn number four. And the tires were right on the middle of the front stretch. Now, a couple of our yellow shirts tried to run up there and grab them, but uh, not able to get them out of harm's way. Point. Ryan Tidman. 
And now your top 10 starters, starting 10th from Mansequan, New Jersey in the Starrett Racing Car, your defending Indoor Auto Racing Championship Series Champion aboard the 15, Ryan Flores. Your number nine starter is from Fairlawn, New Jersey. It's the Dirty Jersey Posse, number 83 for the Jet, Joey Payne. From the number eight starting spot, he's from Broadheadsville, Pennsylvania, the red number 98, Matthew Roselli. A many time winner on the Indoor Auto Racing Series from Ransomville, New York, driving the Laffler number 22 car, Eric Rudolph. From the sixth starting spot, he'll be aboard the nine racing chassis, Bulldog Racing entry from Lancaster, New York, and the 32 inch Sean Nye. Coming from the number five position, he was last night's A main winner from Holtzville, New York, and the Dunleavy Trucking number 51, Justin Bonsignor. From the number four starting spot, another two quick Jesse and Travel Block for New York, driving the 21, Bobby Holmes. Starting third from Buffalo in the airport collision machine, he's the straight shooter aboard the number 49, Scott Bruder. And now the front row for tonight's 40 lap A main event, starting second out of Zillersburg, Pennsylvania, the Dave Gorge Racing Motors car number 43, Brandon Antolina. And starting from the pole tonight, from Ontario, New York, in the Brainerd Transport number 98, Tommy Catalano. Here is Miss Motorsports to give us the most famous words in racing. Here's Taylor Albert. Gentlemen, start your engines. Oh, right on, right on, right on. How about that? Oh, folks, I don't know about you, but I'm all giddy inside. This is going to be big right here.
getting some serious hang time is Briggs Danner. Hey guys, and welcome to the final segment 
of, uh, that keeps rolling around. Welcome to the final segment of this video where I show off what I got. Got a couple things here. Uh, basically, we, we have the program and has program stuff in it. You have the list of drivers, some of them anyway, in the midget class. And you have some ads and other stuff. Then you have this, which they had a track there, I guess, the Championship Energy Action Track USA, which is in Kutztown, Pennsylvania. They're basically advertising. They have their whole schedule there. May consider going to something there. And this is a shirt. The reason why it is balled up is because I did get a shot of, uh, of them doing the slingshots with the shirts. This is one of them. Unfortunately, I didn't think to record when uh, when this one came up because I, this is like the first or second one they shot up. This is even before they announced it. Like when they were at the time that they said, oh yeah, by the way, we have shirts being being shot up from a slingshot. They were like on the other side of the arena and uh, it was way after this was shot up. But I wish I was recording because I literally made a one-handed diving catch in the aisle to uh, to get this. And I have no idea how I actually hung on to it. If I was to let go of it, it I would have lost it completely because it would just roll down the stairs. And there was some guy right in front of me trying to get it as well. So uh, I was pretty lucky that I actually caught it by diving and one-handed. I have no idea how I did that. But... Uh, yeah, let's see how I can open this. I might need scissors. Nope. Ooh, unboxing videos at their finest. Okay, we got to the shirt. Can we pull it out or do we have to rip it some more? This is very exciting to watch, I, I know. And at the beginning, when we first came in, I was debating whether or not to buy a shirt. And now I'm kind of glad I didn't buy a shirt, considering that I literally got a free one that I made an amazing catch for. Of course, I haven't looked at it yet, but hoping it's a, uh, a good one. Who is this? Zyner. Zyner Fabrications. So it it's kind of... It's uh, it's not necessarily advertising the event rather than a specific team and driver. But, you know, it's still kind of cool. I don't know how um, how they got the the arena to to launch to launch um, shirts for just one specific car somehow. But uh, they did. And at this point, I kind of. Um, even if I did buy the shirt, it wouldn't have made a difference because that one would have had the, uh, the, the logo of the Allentown indoor race on it, which was kind of what I was looking for. And I decided not to get it, but I mean, it, it's not that big of a loss anyway, but I'm just saying if I did end up buying that, it wouldn't have mattered either way. Cause this is a completely different shirt. So, uh, so yeah, still pretty cool though. I'm just kind of wondering how, uh, like I said, how one car got to uh, advertise by launching shirts. Usually when they launch shirts, it's like, you know, a sponsor or something, not like somebody from the uh, from the race. And it's one of those Nike, whatever they call it, dry fit. So it's kind of like a thin thing, almost like a jersey type in a way. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. been talking for four minutes. And, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, I just noticed this. Uh, that is, um, mm, wonderful. <laughs> anyway, uh, um, thanks for watching, guys. And, uh, yeah, yeah, may maybe should have, uh, actually bought that shirt with the Allentown logo on it. But you know what? This is fine, too, despite the fact that it's a woman's. But, uh, anyway, I will see you all later.